We're getting spaced out in today's triple play, and the first game we're talking about is called Blastronaut. Now this one didn't actually scare me. Normally space scares me. This one just really annoyed me because it didn't really seem like we we're out in space. This game looks terrible. It feels terrible. The controls are just so awful. This is made for the smaller iOS devices, but it doesn't matter because you're not gonna waste 99 cents on this. This game is made for stupid people. Okay. All you need to do is make a game where you can walk right and you guys screwed that up. Why is it so jerky like that? It's a bit of a clone of Mario in a way because you're going around, you're collecting these blue stars and then you're shooting aliens for I don't know why. Yeah, but off the top it's unnecessarily difficult and I don't know if it's because the controls are awful or the just because there's terrible. too many enemies. It's still crap. You don't release know, no something. Excuse. You don't release something like this. That's not right. Sean, what are you scoring blast or not? I'm gonna give it a zero. Surprise, I'm giving it a zero as well. The next game we're spacing out to is called Sky Tourist. Now this is a game that's a bit of a puzzle game. It's got that pick up and play element to it. And what you want to do is use your left thumb and your right thumb to control rockets on either side of the screen. And there is some sort of rope between the two rockets and you're in the middle of it. And it's the whole balance of trying to get all these golden cubes that are strewn about the sky. You're avoiding enemies, you're also avoiding obstacles because you gotta really glide through some very precarious paths here and there. I thought this game was such a great surprise because we never play with mechanics like this. You have to be weary of the rope itself because the rope can actually get stretched out and break. Your little dude drops off and it's so cute. The animation here is awesome. Yeah. For a 99 cent game, I think this is perfect for the App Store. This is definitely something you should pick up because your kids can play this game and have a good time. Like, yes, there'll be a challenge there, just trying to find that balance. But I think it's really good for hand-eye coordination. Yeah, definitely. I love the way that the physics worked with the actual rope and the two rockets themselves. So it's nice when you get to play a game and be a little surprised by it, pleasantly surprised by it. I was surprised. I was pleasantly surprised, and I enjoyed my time with this game. Sean, what are you scoring Sky Tourist? I'm going to give it a 7. It's getting a 7 from me as well. If you ever have wondered what it's like to be lost in space, Astronaut Spacewalk HD can actually do that for you and give you that feeling. I never want to have that feeling, ever. So this game really made me kind of upset. I felt a little anxious. I was out there all alone, and this game really does that for you. I wanted to be an astronaut. I know a lot of my male friends also wanted to be astronauts, and this is a game that really makes you feel like you're there and that you have the pressure on you, the same kind of pressure that they would have to, one, not get lost in space, and two, to actually do what it is they're supposed to do. I was so impressed with the way it was put together. Am I going back to it? Absolutely not. I can't deal with it. It's too much for me. And the camera, just I felt like it was spinning out of control for me just because every movement you make, it does move that way, just like if you were out in space. And also a lot of the chatter between your shuttle and mission control it's on a, a loop, and it does get grading after a while. Okay, I understand. Uh, stand by for a few minutes before we try again. All right, Marissa, what are you going to give Astronaut Spacewalk HD? Keeping in mind, this is a tough one to score. Ugh, it really is. I'm going to give it a 7.5. I'm giving it an 8.